Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 6th through the 12th. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, we're setting the intention here for the next seven days. However, you might stumble upon the video a few weeks from now, a few months from now, a few years from now. You're going to find it whenever you're meant to hear the messages that are in it. So keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective. Not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does and leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, let's see what's coming up here for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on here for the Scorpio Collective? And my Poochie is sleeping in the back. You might hear him snoring. <laughs> so excuse that. All right, first card here coming up for Scorpio is the Four of Wands. This is stability. This is security. This is a sense of being rooted. This is a sense of being grounded. Now, I know a lot of people are used to watching tarot for love and romance. And so there could be a sense here uh, that some of you are manifesting marriage because I know the four of wands gets typecast as wedding, as marriage. And that can definitely be happening for those of you who are in a relationship wanting to manifest that or calling that in um but this can also be being very good uh, very rooted very grounded feeling at home four of wands can also come up when there's some kind of social engagement or an event that we are being invited to and maybe you don't want to go or you're on the fence about going and four of wands says look you'll have a good time if you go this might be a good thing I heard family reunion three times in like my, 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 my mental, my mental ear or like in my mind, like the way that she would hear a song. I heard the phrase, uh, family reunion. So maybe some of you are being invited to a family reunion and you're like, yeah, I don't know if I want to go. Or maybe somebody is inviting you to their family reunion and you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go, but um, the Four of Wands is saying this is going to be a good thing. This is going to be a good thing for you. Um, this is going to be something that you can enjoy and have a good time. The roses are really jumping out at me. So this could be something that uh, is bringing beauty, uh, creativity into your life, maybe even love for some of you. We've got that diamond. Maybe some of you are, are wanting to manifest that, that, that diamond on your hand. Um, and that can be the case here for some of you. But whatever the case here, four of wands is stability, security, and a sense of home. You know, finding a sense of home, finding a sense of community. Uh, so for some of you, it could be an invitation to something and you might feel kind of awkward about going or you might be feeling self-conscious or you might be feeling shy. And the Four of Wands is saying, go, 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 go. This is going to be a good thing for you to go and to have this experience. The next card coming up here for Scorpio is the Six of Swords. This also came up for Taurus. <laughs> All right. So now this is getting juicy. This is getting interesting. Six of Swords traditionally is going to be getting away from drama, getting away from chaos, that glare is really bugging me. All right, I had to pause for a second there and, and, and clean the lens and get rid of that, that candle glare. Six of Swords. Alrighty, so Six of Swords traditionally can be getting away from drama, getting away from conflict, being able to clear your head, smoother sailing. So you might be coming out of like a, a time of conflict or a time of drama, uh, moving away from that and being able to hear yourself think and just coming into a, a more peaceful time in your life. Six of Swords can also be traveling over water, uh, taking a trip, uh, going somewhere kind of sort of somewhat far away. Uh, Six of Swords, a lot of you have heard me say that for me and my readings has a little bit of an extra meaning just based on my experience, okay? I've traveled a lot. I've been in a lot of different places. I've lived in a few different places. And over the years reading for my clients, I've seen this, ha this pattern as well in some of the private readings I've done. But there have been several times where I've pulled six of cards, either for a client or for myself. And uh, the message has been that there's, th there's a trip coming in. But then what ends up happening is that on this trip, 
um, on this trip, uh, all of a sudden, an unexpected opportunity to relocate arises. So maybe you just think you're going on vacation or you just think you're going to visit a friend or you may just say to yourself, oh, well, that might be a cool place. I might want to live there someday. Let me check it out and, you know, I'll, you know, do a little bit of homework, do a little bit of research and I'll keep it in mind for the future. But then you get out there and boom, 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 pow, 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 things just align and next thing you know, you're moving. It's happened to me. It's happened to clients I've read for. So for some of you, maybe you are being invited to go to, uh, an event, a celebration, a wedding, a reunion of some kind, and it might be some ways away. And and maybe that's the event that is uh, being put in your path to get you to this place so that you might say, wow, I really love it here. I really like it here. I really feel at home here. And then next thing you know, you're relocating. Okay. So this could be happening for some of you. This could be an unexpected or sudden relocation that's coming out of a sudden or unexpected trip uh, or visiting someone, okay? This is a general reading, may or may not resonate for you, uh, but it is sometimes one of the things that can happen when the Six of Swords comes up. Overall, this is just healing, peaceful, smooth sailing energy. No drama, no conflict, peace and quiet. Um, and just being able to be in a in like just a good vibe, a good energy. The next card that's coming up here for Scorpio is the Ten of Swords. Holy cannoli. So we went from Six of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So some of you are getting a taste of freedom, a taste of quiet, a taste of peace of mind. And you're like, to heck with all that noise, to heck with all that nonsense. I'm not going back. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going back, right? It's like you have a taste of this peace of mind. You have a taste of the, 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 this quiet. You have this taste of just like life that you're enjoying that you're like, I can't go back to this other thing. Maybe some of you are taking a vacation from your job and you're just like, I cannot stomach. I cannot bear the idea of going back. I just can't. I'm just going to. I'm just going to call them and tell them I'm not coming back or I'm just going to send an email and not go back. For some of you, it could be that kind of a situation. You get away from the toxic stuff and you're like, I can't do it. I, I can't. I cannot go back. Uh, some of you, it could be a relationship. It could be a living arrangement or situation. Um, Ten of Swords, I know oftentimes can be a card that scares people and it could have an element of it of like betrayal but we have these two very positive cards coming here before it. Um, and the vibe and the feeling that I'm feeling with the Ten of Swords is that this is more of like the beast is dead, like killing the beast. And so a sense or a feeling here of um, being able to uh, come out of a karmic cycle, come out of a, a karmic situation and, uh, you know, like just a new way of doing things or like a new life. For some of you, this move or this change or this shift might be bittersweet. Because sometimes the Ten of Swords comes up for me in a reading when you're walking away from something that once upon a time was a really big deal. You may have a lot of love for it. It may have helped you grow in a lot of ways. It may have been a, a big part of your life, but now you've outgrown it. And so to try to force yourself to stay in that situation is excruciating, right? And I don't know if you remember being a kid and growing up and your, 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 your feet grow when you're a kid and you might have a pair of shoes that you absolutely love those shoes. Like when you got them, you wanted to sleep in them. You like legit thought they made you run faster and jump higher. They were just the most amazing shoes ever. And your feet grow and you get to the point where it's getting harder and harder squeezing your little feet into that shoe. And, and you just keep trying to make it work because you love those shoes so much. But eventually you get to the point where you can't do it. It's too excruciating. You cannot do it. And so Ten of Swords is like you might have a little piece of you wants to stay, but it's time to go. And being in that situation is too excruciating. Staying is too excruciating. And so there's this bittersweet sense of moving on and growing, moving on to the next thing. Ten of Swords can be the closing out of karmic cycles. It could be finally healing and getting a handle 
on uh, any kind of addictions, whether they be substance abuse or whether it be uh, uh, like food addiction or uh, any other kind of addiction. There could be something here that you're finally getting a handle on it and you're healing from some kind of self-medicating behaviors or addictions. Uh, breaking out of karmic cycles, not repeating karmic cycles again. Uh, it, it's, it's done. It's clear. And if you do have a Taurus placement, I would strongly suggest that you watch uh, the Taurus video uh, for this week because um, there's a, a, a message running through the Taurus reading for, for, for those of you that it resonates closing out some cycle or closing out some karmic situation. If you have a Taurus placement, I think the Taurus reading for this week will really resonate or be helpful for you to check out. The next card that's coming up here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising is the Nine of Wands. And so the Nine of Wands here is, uh, you know, holding on to uh, what we've created, holding on to uh, what we what we're making in our life so as you're going in this direction there could be people who don't like what you're doing and they might try to tell you Scorpio you know no I I don't want you to do this but everything you've been doing up until now has been leading you to this it's like your whole life has led you to this so nine of wands says hold on to that hold on to what you've worked for hold on to what you've manifested hold on to what you've created and you know uh, defend yourself now, as you're going out into this journey here, this, this, this new world, right? It feels like a sense of like a new world. It can be scary because you might be like, well, it's like a whole new world, a whole new experiences, all these new people. Like, how do I know I'm going to do the right thing? How do I know I'm going to be able to, uh, to be okay? I do feel here with this six of swords and this 10 of swords and this nine of wands, some of you may be finding yourself in un unfamiliar territory. You may all of a sudden be in a new job or in a new city or in a new town or in a new relationship, getting to know new people, new friends, new family. And you might be like, like, how do I like, is, is this safe? I, am, like, is this safe? Like, what is this? But the nine of wands tells us that we have a lot of experience and that we know what to look out for. We know what red flags are. We know what warning signs are. And so nine of wands comes up to basically just say, look, this is a significant time for you. Uh, and you're almost to the finish line, right? 10 is complete. This is not the time to give up. You don't have to be scared. You don't have to be afraid because you have seen every dirty little lie. You've seen every manipulation. You've seen every dirty little trick. There's nothing new under the sun anybody can come at you with. This isn't your first ro rodeo. You know what's up. As long as you're staying alert, you're going to catch warning signs. You're going to catch red flags. You're not going to get involved with the wrong people. You're not going to let the wrong people in. So you can trust your judgment because you have enough wisdom. You have enough wisdom. You have enough experience. It's just up to you to stay alert and to listen to it. Okay? But Scorpio, I feel for a lot of you, uh, there's something coming here with stability and security, but it also has this sense or this feeling like it's a whole new world or it's a, it, it's a fresh new start. This is such a massive change that it might not all be happening from the 6th to the 12th, but there may be events taking place the 6th through the 12th that are, are are leading to this change or leading to this shift. So for some of you, this could be happening over the next six months, but the ball may be getting into motion over the next seven days or from the 6th to the 12th. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks your uh, moon sign or rising sign might resonate more than your sun sign. Uh, if you would like a private reading with me, there's a link in the description of the video that's going to take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite. You can schedule a private reading with me there. The love readings for June are linked in the description. And then for those of you who don't know, every single day I've been posting a daily message, a daily card that a lot of people have found helpful. So check that out. Maybe that'll be helpful for you as well. 
uh, with the daily messages. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, Scorpio.